Okay, we're back everyone. Going to Mills River Park this time. I'm gonna see if it can navigate us out of here. I met the people at the supercharger and I'm like, why did he just like come in here and leave? <laughs> Little do they know, the car has a mind of its own. And for some reason it's not letting me engage. It wants to still go for Waffle House. That's incorrect. I'm going to give it the best odds possible. This this route is pretty direct. Like, there's not a lot of turns here. I'm, as you can see, I'm not doing the 360 video on this one. So, hopefully, uh, I don't think... I don't recall there being any significant... Um, turns or blind turns and that stuff so I had to turn the blinker on like this truck is doing we have to get in this lane right here so hopefully me turning the blinker on forcing it tells it in the future hey you just need to get over instead of trying to get further up in this lane and then get in over and also I'm gonna force it to creep forward a little bit here Okay, so it decided just not to go. It was really delayed there. Doing better at this intersection. Got to find... Well, I say it was doing better. Okay, there, now it's getting up to speed. That was good. Well, it started slow and then it started speeding up again. Now it's slowing. So that was good. Where it started is where it should have kept on deaccelerating. It doesn't get in the left turn lane here. It needs to go straight. Okay, we might be safe since the light just turned. But multiple times I've had to try and go in the left turn lane at this exact light to try and go around a car. That's good, it started slowing down for the Amazon van as soon as he got out into the street. Look that, we made one big loop, everyone. This is the road we went on this morning to go to Target. That's where it all started, so we're back here in Mills River. good to go car I'm, I'm pushing it through because it's like it it's I, I don't know if i'm training it or not and also it, it it really accelerated good right there way faster than i would have normally done that it really should stay in this lane all the way up until there's a traffic light far up ahead just stay in this lane until that traffic light but it's yeah, it's it's wanting to get over. I can tell. And there's no way I, I don't have any choice to um, to cancel it now, except for the stock, which um, doesn't work half the time. And this right here is exactly why. It. I'm pretty sure they had the blinker on. That just didn't make the sound. Yeah, it's 
thing. You shouldn't change lanes during intersection. And no, it's gonna mess up here. Okay. Oh. Well, I manually made that lane change. So it has. This is a very, very common issue at this intersection right here. Is that it backs all the way up to here. Um, this is very common. And um, it tries to. Uh, yeah, this car is gonna have a hard time for a very, very long time at this intersection right here because of that. It wants to go around the traffic and it doesn't think it's in the right spot due to use, it's using the map too much, uh, the map data too much. And yeah, and we were like way back here. So it's like, well, I need to get it up and around and get in the right section on the turn lane, but it's not, it was in the right section. It has to know like, hey, the cars are so far backed up that it has no choice but to have to cross the double yellow line to get in because the only alternative option is to go here and back down and back around which I, I personally don't think the majority of humans would do most humans would not do like skip unless they were out of the area and they happened to miss a turn I'm like okay navigation will be route I'm back here but someone who knows the area like I do you're gonna get in the turn lane because you just don't want to go around that being said, it actually there is a chance because we're waiting at the stoplight here that going this way would have been quicker. You know it's longer. Uh, so that's something that's that brings up another point. Do you um, go the longer way? That could be quicker. There's no guarantee. Maybe the light changes really quick all of a sudden, or maybe you're able to make it through the light if you like speed up or a little bit. Like right now. I'm gonna press the accelerator to make sure we make it through this light. Okay, so it's doing it on its own now. But um, yeah, that that's the question mark. Like, you know, that was bad. Well, oh, wrong. It wasn't bad. It just messed up. Uh, let's go ahead and put the camera button there. Um, yeah, again. So would it have been quicker to go around and come out here? Maybe. Maybe. And perhaps next time, let's let it try that. Next time we come through here, I don't know if it's going to be next update or not. We'll see. Um, if, if I get single stacked, it will might be taking a little bit different route to do more highway testing. But we'll see if it does it does that. We'll come out right here, I believe. Oh, wait, no, the road before that. Um, but, yeah, so this, once we're in the dog park here, uh, that's where this drive is going to end. We're gonna do one more today, uh, coming from my parents back to my house. And we're, that is our standard test route two. So we're gonna see how that does. And next weekend we'll do our uh, Priory Carl Sandberg and all that stuff. We might do those in the morning. We'll see how that works. Now let's see how it gets in this turn lane up here. It always seems to have somewhat of an issue right here. car behind me last time it jammed on the brakes too much that was better than last time it still didn't well, go it was def it was better than last I was about to cut that corner too sharply it was better than last time but not super smooth still have room still has room for improvement for sure What we're gonna do now, again, if, if you didn't see my last video, this is a fabulous park. It's much busier today than it was last time. The weather's even nicer than it was last time. I and mean, that's hard to, hard to beat because last time it was pretty incredible weather. Uh, now it's even better because it's even cooler out. But um, I'm gonna go charge up on some solar. As you can see on our left, there's solar panels going. And, um, and we're gonna go walk the dog and um, Just enjoy yourselves. Hope everyone has a good day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.